Imagine Nexus forming off the starboard bow. Battle stations. Stand by to repel borders. Interior, you know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me. This ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words. You can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last. And to believe in what you got. It was built to last. Yeah. Now that I've been Puppets of the Corpse Emperor. You dare is present me. Without the Codex, the remaining Reapers will continue to spread their strength unimpeded. He is our only link to the blue. The enemy vessel is disengaging. It flees into the sea of souls. Destroy it before. Can the Codex Toxicus be recovered, Inquisitor? No. No, its precious wraith bone is shattered. I trusted it would be safe in the heart of a ship crewed by the Emperor's most elite demon hunters. The Emperor judges us all. This stillborn venture was your plan. The right for Isidore Carter. He not only questions your methods, but your authority as well. Silence, demon filth. Your time is at an end. Not yet. What? Why? This abomination serves the plague god. He must be exterminated immediately. This demon prince knew enough to locate and destroy the Codex. I must extract what else he knows. Made this mistake on the craft world, blindly chasing mysteries. And what would you have us do, Ektar? Without the Codex, we will flounder in darkness while those last two strains spread beyond our control. What indeed? What indeed? Commander, hear me. The bloom spreads beyond our capability to stop it. I am out of ideas and we are out of time. My one hope is that this demon knows something we can use. If I fail in the task, do what you will with me. If you falter for a moment, I will have no other choice. <laughs> he fears you, Carver. He is not my executioner, but he will be yours. <laughs> Inquisitor. 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 
I saw it, Ektar. I saw it all. I thought you lost in the monster's mind. Almost, perhaps. But I've seen. <laughs> I've seen how the bloom yet remains so strong. Analysis. A weakening inquisitor. A hopeless cause. It seems your crusade ends here. <laughs> Inquisitor. Its power is drawn from a wellspring within the Empyrean. A network of roots reaching directly from the Garden of Nurgle. Sever these roots and the seeds will wither. The bloom will dwindle and perish. That is deep within the Immaterium. Far beyond the Edict's reach. The Dominus speaks truth. To locate the Garden of Nurgle within the war would be impossible, even for the Grey Knights. I have no more insight to offer. We cannot track the remaining Reapers, nor can we walk into Hell itself armed with only faith and fury. Even if we could, no weapon we possess could hope to cut them so close to the source of their power. I see no hope in this. There is none left for you, Carter. Not even that disgusting Grand Master could help you now. What did it say? Contradiction. Caldor Drago travels the warp freely. Ah, true! Additional. He bears the Titan Sword. No purer blade has ever existed. Uncertain. However, no armament exists on Titan which surpasses it. We must try to reach him. Your Supreme Grand Master has been cursed to wander the Sea of Souls. Our meeting on the Craft World was blind luck. We cannot simply shout into the void and pray he answers. Contra assumption. Conditions on the Aldari craft world were novel, but distinct. The birthing of the Reapers echoed through a breach in the warp. Drago indicated being drawn to the phenomenon. To recreate such a disruption would require a force of extreme... The Prime Seeds. What? We only hold three of those cursed things. Yes. But each one contains a massive concentration of bloom essence. If I were to destroy them simultaneously, all that vile power would explode in a massive dispersal. It might draw Drago's attention once again. Insufficient. The craft world existed within unstable real space. A breach in the warp would still be necessary. Yes, but if we were able to find a place where the veil between worlds was similarly thin, Conclusion. The conditions that drew the Supreme Grand Master on the craft world could be recreated. I suspect the warp storms that ravage this sector might offer a potential candidate. An astute recommendation, Ektar. I am impressed. Ugh. Commander, we should set course for the nearest warp storm and scan for the necessary conditions. This planet, Sucrista, matches our all-sex telemetries. The veil between the Sea of Souls and real space is slim. The cathedral here was once a monument to the Emperor's Majesty. Now it's a ruin to blasphemy and sacrilege. I can feel the emanations of misery within. Commander, this world is overrun with the bloom. While the warp storm narrows the precipice between our real space and the warp, this is as close to an ideal candidate we are liable to find for this ritual. With your leave, I will prepare the prime seeds for the mission ahead. Yeah. 
The Inquisitor's force has risen considerably. Her resistance has proven almost inhuman, but it is clear she has finally reached her limits. I am ready to do my part. Upon her return, then? If she returns. He comes to you, master. The fool needs to take you by surprise. Show me. You have done well, Cadex. I will have vengeance at last. The Carver will not leave this garden alive. No! It appears we are being watched, my lord. Hello. Little spy. <laughs> That's it, Connor. Call your minions. You can all wait together. The demon alerted its master to our plans. How is that possible? I'm, uh, I'm not certain. I believe it might have been during the ritual on Sir Krista. Cadex has retained some agency since I entered his mind. Agency? What agency? Taunts, uh, murmurs, voices I have ignored. <laughs> it has been a little more than that. Have we just damned the Supreme Grand Master to an ambush and death? <laughs> Precisely. I... Uh, no, Ektar. I only did what I believe necessary to advance our cause. Our cause now? Inquisitor Fakir, with one blow, you have turned all of our efforts to serve the apes of chaos. With your leave, Commander. <laughs> you are right. I have failed us. Hector, analyze. The Inquisitor is the only being with an erudite understanding of what we face. Without her, we are truly lost. Without the Supreme Grand Master, we have already lost. Denial. This act is reckless. The Inquisitor's biodiagnostics have not yet totally collapsed. So you would have us follow this traitor until she does? <laughs> this is too much. Like children. Rationalize. We have all been deceived. Counterproposal. We intervene on the Supreme Grand Master's behalf. Are your logic pathways fried, Dominus? No mortal can navigate their way through the Garden of Nurgle. No mortal. Silence! Your words have done harm enough. Ektar! In 987 years, I have not observed a Grey Knight falter in his duty. Yet you fear this? Say your piece, Fakir. It is true. No mortal can find their way to the Garden of Nurgle, but... A demon will always return to its master. What? Yes. Cadex has burrowed into my mind. If you were to banish him, I... I might use that connection to track his spirit as it returns past the veil, back to its master. More conjecture. Support. 
Archival analysis indicates stellar coordinates can be transmitted via astral telepathy. Both of you now? Dominus, even if we gamble on the purity of her intentions, this notion barely amounts to a roll of the dice and a prayer. That is all I have left, Ektar. But what does the effort cost you? Another demon banished to the warp? What of your baleful edict? Are you so eager to see it fall into the play god's hands? The edict will fulfill its purpose. I am a priest of Mars. Sentimentality is for the flesh. Vakir, your soul stands at the precipice. You have proven yourself stronger than any human I've known. But if you falter in this, even for a moment, I will have no choice but to cut you down. I would ask nothing less of you. Commander, you have led us capably since Agravain's fall, but in this our direction is clear. If we yet have hope to intervene for the sake of the Supreme Grand Master and put an end to this bloom, we have no choice but to pursue it. I see you have maintained your devotional wards even in this time of crisis. Very wise. If I could travel back to before this foolhardy venture, then yes. We should not expect to take them by surprise. Yes, of course. It will be the spark I use to kill the beast and send its flaming essence back into the realm of chaos. It is an emblem of our faith, and in the hands of a Grey Knight, faith is a stronger weapon than any mortal blade. You require a, a box of strain while the Inquisitor's logic seems legitimate. Further scrutiny is required. Do demon princes leave trails in the warp? The machine spirits are sent. Agreed. If only she had used the rituals I prescribed. Not exactly. But my time aboard the Edict has made me privy to many banishments. I see you have come straight to me. Time the Demon Prince has found a weakness in my mental wards. Yes, we must focus on essential matters. Oh, I think they gouge much deeper than that, my dear Inquisitor. My fate doesn't matter. <laughs>